And a good Thursday evening to you. 2K Sports presents the NBA. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It's France facing the home team. Now Thompson, here are the five for France. They've got Gobert, and it's Ertl in at the one. Just five to shoot. To the middle. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. France has possession. Here's Luwala. Five on the clock. Free throw line jump shot. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Last to Aguilar. Thompson outside. Defended by Gobert. And he uses the glass on the way a little artistry in the painted area converting against the size some guys just relish the challenge find a way and he does now here's Fournier as to Luwawu here's Gobert Gobert double teamed here's Luwawu and it falls Luwawu. over the rim and in there you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. He's guarded by Fournier. Let's it go from 11. It's hauled in by France. Here's Ertel. There's the pass to Luwam. Shoots the three. Does not find the mark. He's made two and missed one now. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Back to Thompson. Plays it up and takes it in. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? Defensively. To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Luwum. Passes it to Erdo. Gobert trying to get open, and the basket is good. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. He's guarded by Fournier. Pass to Thompson. The three. That one doesn't drop. France goes the other way with it. And pushing it up. Here's France. Fournier's shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Defended by Gobert. Gobert with the defensive effort. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. 
Here's Luolo to the paint. That one goes. Count it. Luau's got six. I just love the determination on that backboard coming out of the gates. Really, really strong. Yeah, we're seeing some early signs that he is on his game. That putback's a good illustration of the work he's ready to put in tonight. Here's Aguilar. Tries again. Gobert with the block. They retain possession. Two points. That one goes. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now, here's Fournier. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Luwalu, the pass to Gobert. Second shot opportunity. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. And, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gobert taking two shots. A free throw drops for Gobert. So he picks up just one from the line that time. to Thompson. Now the pass to Aguilar. Buries it down low. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Passes it to Luau. He kicks it to Fournier. Now here's Gobert. He's guarded closely. And good. Gobert. And it takes a nice bounce time off time the out. right iron and down. Home team. Guarded by Fournier. Thompson for the triple. He heads hauled in by France. Gobert's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Fournier. 13 feet away. No good. Pass to Thompson. He heads hauled in by France. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Great open look there. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. He's guarded by Fournier. The pass to Thompson. Shot from the wing. And off the glass. That one's good. There you go. Not the best star, but maybe that's the shot that gets him in rhythm. France leading by four. Passes to Gobert. France moving it around. Fournier passes to Ertl. 
Here's Luomo. That one Luau. drops for him. Luomo's got eight. Luomo's gone four of five shooting from the field. Away team foul. Their turn. First person. An outstanding foul. defensive First play foul. to earn the mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. France on D. Six point lead. Off with the layup. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for France with his first shot attempt. Number and he hits 13. the jumper for two. And it's an eight-point France lead. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Pass to Thompson. Three-pointer. Sinks the triple. Thompson's got his second basket of the night. And you can see that backcourt just setting the tone for the entire team. Here's Fournier. That one Fournier. dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. Yeah, uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production. Driving to the basket. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Here's Luomo. He's got eight. Takes a three. And another three for France. Three points. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. He's guarded by Fournier. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number five here tonight. To the inside. The pass to Erdogan. Inside, here's Luwawu, and the call on the shot Number sends him to the line. First personal foul, second team foul. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far Luwawu. for France? Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Well, they've established scoring coming from down low so far. The first one falls. So he gets them both. Guarded by Fournier. Thompson outside. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got six rebounds now in the game. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Here's Ertel. He's covered by Thompson. 56 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Top of the key. And it's in there. Number 32. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Yeah. 
Pass to Aguilar. All sorts of time. And the jumper falls for him. He has six. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Ornier the bounce pass. Here's Luol. Ten points for him. Pass to Ertl. And here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Here's Thompson. And there's the pass to Aguilar. Out to the right wing. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double-digit advantage. Rands ahead, up by 12. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And so far, what stands out to you from France in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. France leading by 12. So on the floor for France. They've got Luwabu, and it's Ertl in at the point. Fournier against Clarkson. Just five on the clock. They double him with Clarkson. France needs to get off a shot. Ertl. And the three ball is good. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. Defended by Gobert. Into the lane. Power down with both hands. Boy, outstanding Jordan. pass Clarkson. and execution. They'd love to see Clarkson do that on a consistent basis. Master Luwawu. Off target at the rim. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. The jump hook. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. France leading by 11. Passes it to Gobert. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Fournier's shot is off. Clarkson for three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. Pass to Erdl. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. The pass to Fournier. A three ball. Can't get it to go. He's made four and just missed his fourth. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Gobert brings the double team. And the lead is down inside. Single digits. Even double team. He had the vision to see the open man. Up top, Fournier. He's covered by Clarkson. Gobert can't hit. Gobert's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. Down low. Got a piece of it. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. Outside Fournier. They need this one. 
Four for nine from the floor with that miss. Defended by Gobert. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Five points in the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Passes it to Irving. And that one, good. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Thompson outside. Defended by Gobert. Gobert with the defensive effort. France leading by eight. Here's Hurdle. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Clarkson outside. It's good. Clarkson's got his first bucket in this one. Wow, big-time move by Jordan Clarkson. The defense forced to adjust. That's an incredible drive. Has to go bare. Here's Fournier. He's covered by Clarkson. A baseline J. Another one falls for France. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort. Not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll be France's ball. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Cowardine's check in for France. France leading by 10. And he drives in. And then Melodon with the dunk. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. I'll tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Here's Ramos. Gobert with the block. And they get it back. Goes up again. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. To your home team. France making a change here. A Kobo's checked in. Home team. And the home team has possession. Down by 12. Here's Ramos. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. And here is France now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And here is Melida. Here's Luau. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Ramos the pass to Clarkson. Five to shoot. The rebound by Luwabu. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Pass to Gobert. To the middle. Banked in off the glass. Eight points for him. 
and this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Clarkson. On the path to Ramos. To stop the run. That one misses. Franz goes the other way with it. Passes to Okobo. Franz moving it around. Here's Melodon. And then Melodon with the dunk. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're Goal ignoring team. the scoreboard and playing hard. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you're Poirier's checked in. to Clarkson. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Well, Jordan Clarkson, a nice, efficient look there. Boy, that'll help your percentages. Pass to Kobo from the corner. The shot, no good. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. it through and credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim for sure ga allows him to come in with a sledgehammer boy that's a play you just practice time and time again and that's the result of the work put in the pass to ramos launches it gets the three-pointer to fall i'll tell you he'll take that all Day every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Over to the left wing. There's 126 left in the first half of the game. Off target from the wing. Here's Melodon. And then Melodon with the dunk. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Paladon's gone three for three from the floor. Clarkson surveying the floor. Here's Aguilar. Aurier grabs the miss. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Here's Luwawu. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. 40 seconds left in the first half. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. 
You know, one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. And both free throws good for Clarkson. There's 39 seconds left here in the second. France leading by 15. Now here's Melida. He's got six. Here's a Kobo. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Clarkson. to the paint. Here's Aguilar. And no good. Trying to use the glass. It could go. That shot off the mark. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. France leads by 15. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Well, for France, Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us. We can only beat ourselves. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. First of all, where's the intensity on D? You think when a team is punking you like this, at least try to put a stop. Nope. Just keep giving up open looks, letting the lead get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Outside Fournier for three. That's not going to go. He's four for ten. Fournier's gone 40% from the floor in 10 attempts. Inside. Out to Thompson. The shot from 20 feet away. That's good on the jump shot. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Pass to Aguilar. Pass to Thompson. This one for three. Cans it from downtown. Thompson's got eight points. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Fournier with the ball. He's got 10. Tries from 10. Score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. Oh, they own the interior right now. 10 straight points coming from inside. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. It's good. He's got 10. Wow, what a start. Three more three, terrific play calling, everything clicking out of the gates here. Here's Ertel. He's covered by Thompson. 
hurdle the pass to Fournier lets it go with a three connects from three point range three Fournier's got five points in the quarter boy that's three for four this half you like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy nice pass to Aguilar Defended by Gobert. Makes it off the glass. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? Here's Hurdle. No good. Shot missing. Good D by Thompson. Over to the wing. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at five. Gobert brings the double team. Lots of room. Good on that shot. And with that, the France lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Aguillon. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Outside Fournier. No good with the layup. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Number and it goes two. down two points. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. The pass to Aguilar. He started by Fournier. Pocket six. That's tipped. Passes it to Aguilar. Off target from three point range. And so Gobert will bring it up for France. They led by as many as 18 points. The nine-foot shot. Another one falls for France. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for France. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Here's Thompson. France getting their last shot to go. Looking to get it going. It's hauled in by France. Gobert's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. The dish to Fournier. Comes up empty, 7 for 15 with that miss. Defended by Gobert. Gobert with the block. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Man, he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. They're you know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Luwabu. It's hauled in by France. Here's Yabusele. No, no, no. Teardrop shot. And Fournier with a nice bucket inside. Fournier's got nine points here in the second half. They need to stop this run. You know what, Kev? I think it's time to switch some things up, either by going to your bench or with a different look defensively to disrupt their rhythm. It's good. Six points for him. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. Here's Ertel. He's covered by Thompson. Hey, 
pass to Yabusele. Launches a three. And another three for France. I'll tell you, he turns a difficult situation of duress into a simple basket with a precision pass out of the double team. To the inside. And he takes the feed in stride and shines it home. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. Ertl, the pass to Gobert. Pass to Ertl. Good on the bucket. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. He's guarded by Fournier. Gobert pulls it in. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Now, here's Fournier. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. Fires the three. The shot, no good. Boy, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. It's deflected, and it ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Clarkson, he's checked in for Thompson. And a switch here also for France. Falls checked in for Gobert. Three from the inbound. Drops in the tray. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. France leading by 17. It's Fournier on the wing. There's the pass to fall. Here's Ertel, 11 points in the game. Passes it to Yabusele. It's Fournier on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the three. That shot, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. The 19-foot shot. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. He's got 10. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Right wing. Here's Yabu Sele. Oh, good with the triple. Now Clarkson. He has six. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Clarkson's got his third basket of the night right there. I'll tell you, tremendous concentration by Jordan Clarkson. This guy is not going to be deterred. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. To the middle. To the wing right side. Great touch on the 16-footer. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. France leading by 12. Out to the wing. Plenty of space. Another one falls for France. Outstanding pass on time and on target. 124 left in the third. the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well yeah heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down now Adon's checked in for France number 11 one plus the penalty two shots One twelve left here in the third quarter Here's Ertel. He's got 11. Pass to Fournier. Now, here's Melodon. The three-pointer, no good. 
they're looking now at a sizable deficit. And there's still time left, so they don't necessarily have to really rush the game. They need to avoid that. number 32. Oh, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. That's the fall. Here's Ertel. Goes up on the wing. Off the mark, only his second miss in seven attempts. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Down low, here's Aguilar. It falls through, making him six for 11 in the game. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Here's Melodon. Good on the three-point shot. Melodon's got nine points. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Let's the three fly. Hits the three-point run. And guys, getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And it's France heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. So on the floor for France, they've got Melodon, and it's Poirier in up the four spot. From downtown, that ball is good for another field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. And there's the pass to Okobo. Pulls up on the wing, and good, he nails it. And France leads by six. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's a Kobo. Passes it to Melodon. Here's Fall. Another shot. Rebounded by Clarkson. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. And he goes in for the dunk. See, I like that recognition. He knows he's in rhythm, knows this is the time to give his team some punch. And here is Melodon. to the paint and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own oh going high to throw that one down sky high fantastic one hand jam and we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter and that one good from Clarkson their ability again to stretch the floor particularly in this second half and guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Pass to Fournier from outside the arc. And another three for France. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Throws it up high. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. 
Here's Fournier. Pass to Okobo. To the middle. Here's Fall. It's tipped. And he recovers it. Okobo looking over the floor. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Clarkson. And it's Okobo missing. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. He's guarded by Fournier. Inside. Trills the three-pointer. After an ice cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Now a timeout called by France. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on what France's coach was going over with his team. He told him, look, guys, we're running out of time. If we're going to make a move, it's got to be now. Are you guys ready to make a move? They all nodded, and he said, then go take it. Kevin? Thompson passes to Aguilar. Goes up from the top of the key. Yep, Just right through the net. You know, I thought in the first half this guy was pressing. He was rushing. Yeah. Now he's settled into the game. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for France. It's a one-point game. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Out to the right wing. Here's Poirier. Here's Luwalu. Rebound collected by Clarkson. From deep. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Outside Fournier. He's off on that one. Clarkson on the wing. Odd pass to Clarkson. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Luwawu. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul, first team foul. Two. Shooting for the away team. Luawu at the line for two. The first free throw is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Now, here's Clarkson. Thompson is double. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Akobo, the pass to Luwawu. Here's Akobo. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Akobo. Kicks to Fournier. France moving it around. Six on the shot clock. High post, Gobert. That one wide left. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. To the inside. <laughs> Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play change for him. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. And France making a change here. Number 11. At the line for one.
Here's Ertel. Thirteen feet away. Moves back up. No good on the way up. Gobert has gone two of seven from the floor here. Thompson looking for an opening. The pass to Aguilar. Shoots from eight. Good as the jump shot falls. You can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Here's Fournier. Some solid defense from Clarkson. He's guarded by Fournier. Pass to Aguilar. And here's Clarkson. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Ertel. Sinks the three-pointer. He's got 19. Just doing what he can. He's competing and he's converting. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. He's guarded by Fournier. He gets hauled in by France. Fournier's got four rebounds now tonight. No good on the shot. He's guarded by Fournier. Dishes it to Thompson. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. France trails by eight. Now a timeout call by France. Then our new balance player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working in inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Luau. From the arc. And another three for France. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. Home team ball. Guarded by Fournier. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Fires for three. Hits it from three-point range. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Jacks up a three. And he's good on the three ball. Three ball. And really just when the fans were starting to get into this game. How about the silencer at the other end for a potential game-saving three? Count it. Good. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. A minute 42 left to play in the final quarter. To the right side. And another three for France. 
defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Now here's Thompson, guarded closer. Charity stripe shot. Second chance shot. Gobert with the block. Here's Ertel. He's covered by Thompson. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley. Not to be. Good play defensively. Shoots from 12. Gobert pulls it in. It's Gobert with the ball for France. Down low. The steal. Thompson in the corner. There's the triple. In for his seventh bank in 14 tries. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Fires the three. Good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. That's an important shot right there, guys. I mean, he's produced from deep all game long. Yeah, he's done more work outside the arc than inside it, and that's not going to change now. They'll ride his long-range game all the way to the end of this one. This guy just isn't missing today. I mean, what a day he's had from the field. And his shooting is the only reason this game is as close as it is. He's been Mr. Reliable offensively. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. A big-time possession here. Yeah, and their hearts must be going 100 miles an hour right now. Shot and game clock separated by five. It drops. Relentless in their approach, oh, even team. with the game firmly in hand. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job. They're behind by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? You know, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. They need to score, and they need to do it quickly, but it is still possible here. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And they go to the intentional foul. Third team foul. Gets the first. That makes it a three-point lead. Thompson taking two shots. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two-possession game. 16 seconds left in the game. Outside Fournier. Yes! And that shot brings them to within just one. And, and since halftime, this has become an intense ball game. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. And now they foul and stop the clock. Shooting for the home team. Thompson at the line for two. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. A bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively. three-pointer he's found his rhythm from deep and and you can see the confidence and I think the defender knows once he gets yeah. that will count and he hits the shot uh, but hang on guys hold everything the officials may review it here well, they are going to replay right now to make sure he did not release it in time as the officials originally ruled. Well, they had thought they had the game already won. Now they've got their fingers crossed. 
and the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. And they're going to count it the after looking at the replay. They rule that he got the shot off in time. GA, they won it on the buzzer beater. Hey, Kevin, oh. you talk about winning it at the very last second. What a finish. Thankfully, the replay gets the officials off the hook on what would have been an awful call to miss. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olmer, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.